Well, hello, YouTubers. Well, today it's time for Hacker Boxes. I believe that this one is 10, I think. Uh, I have to go back and look. I've been busy, and I apologize. I haven't made too many videos, but I have been extremely, extremely busy. But anyway, so here we are. We've got our Hacker Boxes. Hopefully, I think this is number 10. So let's open this thing up, and let's see what's in there. Um, last month... Uh, it was a really, really big box, uh, but it was it was just there was large items in there, and it was really, really cool. My favorite thing from last month was, of course, these guys. They're awesome. Uh, but this one is a much smaller box, but as you can see, it's it's stuffed. So let's see what's in this thing. Okay, so here we go. We've got. Box number 10, 0010, Python Pi. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, cool. So we have what looks like a Nintendo, or a knockoff Nintendo controller. Very, very cool. It actually feels really, really good. These buttons, not so much. Those feel pretty good. Not branded or anything, but hey, awesome. And it's a USB plug, so awesome. This would be great for retro games and stuff. We have what's marked as a HDMI cable. I'm going to say 1.5 meters, I think. I'm not sure. I do not know how to read that, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay. We got here, we have... This looks like okay, this GPIO extension card or extension board. Sorry. So I've got this is going to be probably going to be hooking to a Raspberry Pi, and I would guess that there's a Raspberry Pi in here. Let's see. So we've got a nice little. What is this? Uh, how many is this? 16? Yeah, 16 digit keypad. These are always really cool. I always like these. Okay. And we've got an extension cable, which is always great. Alright, what else we have here? We've got some components and what looks like an SD card. It's 16 gigs. It's a class 10. So that's cool. Always can use an extra one of those. And some resistors and some headers. Okay. Bunch of jumpers. Different lengths, different colors. Looks like fairly decent quality. Yeah, okay. Some jumpers. Alright. I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be plug for power. Okay. That's cool. Alright. Uh, card reader. You know, I got one of these in another one of the hacker boxes, and these are actually really, really nice. I was impressed with this. Um, I stopped using some of my other ones and started using this one. So, yeah, really, really good one compared to some of the other crappy ones I've had. All right. And we have a nice little, probably 16, well, I forget the name of this. Anyway, I've used a lot of these. These are great. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got a breadboard. Looks like your garden variety breadboard. Let's see what kind of back this has on it. Some of these I've had. You put your pen in and crap comes out the back. Hopefully this is not one of them. Well, we can experiment here. Let's see how decent the connection is. Ah, pretty good. Not too tight, not too loose. And nothing coming out the back. So, okay. Good deal. And it looks like they source decent stuff. Alright. Nothing else in the box. So, here we go. Orange pie. Hmm. I don't think I've had one of these before. Now, I don't what this is based on. Okay. 
just talks about different things, safety information, all right. Let's see what we get on this guy. Obviously there's some wireless built into it. That's awesome. Hmm. I have to run this thing and see what's up with it. Um, I have not kept up with Raspberry Pi, so I, I'm not sure if this is based, if this is similar to a Pi 2 or a Pi 3. Not entirely sure, but I'm kind of digging the configuration here. You got what looks like your HDMI port here. You have two USB ports here. Looks like a mini USB port here. Uh, you got your power, which is probably going to be this guy right here, which I prefer this over running power off of a small USB port or a standard because the USBs they just don't hold up. And if you're just a little too you know, a little too rough with them, or you're in a, you know, a, a, an environment that has a lot of a vibration, these are not that hard to screw up, and then you lose power, then you got problems. Um, now, on the first gen Pi, at least you can solder in power, solder in power on this. Now, this one, I guess if you really got desperate and something got broke, you can always solder in on these terminals here and uh, supply power uh, that way. Um, this is probably this one's probably going to be a an LCD extension, or maybe just some sort of a GPIO extension of some sort. Um, what else is on here? Okay, there's some sort of headers here. I don't know if that's a jumper extension or what. That would have to be something I would look up. Uh, it does look like it has uh, a Wi-Fi or some sort of a radio. I'm going to guess it's probably Wi-Fi. Um, here that's built into the board which makes life a little bit easier because yeah I mean my first gen Pi finding wireless that worked on them was a major pain in the butt okay looks like you have infrared um, here looks like a small possibly microphone here uh, this is probably going to be your reset switch I'm going to assume here Ah, nice, nice, neat little package. It really is. Nice, nice, neat little package. Okay, well, let's see what we got here on what they've got here. Okay, so we've got your 16, yeah, 16 digit by 2 LCD module, you yeah, know, the HD44780. Um, I actually used quite a few of these. These things are great. Um, and I've configured them different ways with the headers, and you know, yeah. I actually have some projects I've built with these guys, and they're great. I prefer the blue backgrounds, but yeah, it's just me. All right, and this is going to be okay. So this is your GPIO um, layout for here, and more than likely, it's probably going to be your. I'm hoping your standard uh, your standard Pi layout, but I'd have to double check on all that. But that's pretty cool. So, doesn't really give me exactly what all this is leading up to, but I'm going to assume we've got this, we've got this, and this more than likely goes to here. So you stick this guy in here. see which way that goes anyway you got here so then you can work off you can start I'm not entirely sure but I'm guessing you can I don't know put this uh, put this to a monitor you got some this here here uh, I'm not sure how that pl this plays into it um, hmm. 
not too sure what all this is going to end up going in, you know. I guess if you wanted to, you can make a little video game that hooks onto this LCD. Uh, I don't know why you would need this unless you want to hook up a controller of some kind. Uh, this would be resistors for hooking up this guy and I guess play your video game on your little tiny LCD with your controller. Huh. In any case, there's a, quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, this is really cool. I really do like this. This one's great. Um, I like the game. Believe it or not, this is probably one of the, my favorite things because uh, if you've ever messed with this stuff, you know how hard it is to find freaking cables sometimes, uh, especially cables that you can actually use. I've had to jerry-rig old hard drive cables and use those to extend um, things like this for LCD screens and for the Pi GPIOs and stuff. Uh, this, you know, I have a bunch of these laying around, but it's nice to have another one. Um, really like the the uh, this board having the power come in a jack like this. That's uh, just a lot, a lot more resilient than your standard USB power, which is a total piece of crap. Now this board I'm definitely going to be playing around with because I've been wanting to get a better uh, Pi board. Um, just, just to mess around with and see if there's any projects I want to do, and this one having wireless built in with an antenna, and that makes that's pretty cool. Um, these are always a nice addition. This is great. I love these readers. Um, at least they were kind enough to send a class ten card, not some piece of crap class four or something. And it's always good to have some extra parts. And this. I'm gonna to have to look, get online, and see what kind of projects they are, you know, what they came up with on these. But uh, I'm actually gonna be building um, a future project later this, either this fall or this winter. Um, I'm gonna be building a a large CNC machine. Um, the 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 actual main components are already built. Um, I just have to put it together. Just been too too busy to deal with it. But uh, you know. I bought another type of pad like this. It might even be exactly like this, but I'd planned on using that on my CNC machine to do, you know, quick input rather than using a mouse or anything like that. And HDMI cables are always welcome. And it's nice that, you know, these are this uses a full-size HDMI. So, there it is. There is all the stuff from Hackerboxes 0010 Python Pi. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. Uh, I know there was uh, one comment talking about the music in the background. So this one, I'm not going to put any music in the background. I'm just going to shoot this video and I'm going to pop it up there. And you know, I'm in a basement where there's occasional noises and different things. And I usually play the music to, you know, to you know. Not, so you guys didn't have to hear all, any of the noises, but um, if it's easier to hear me uh, rather than have you know having music going, then I'll just quit playing the music. No big deal. Uh, if you have any comments about that, let me know. If you like it or if you don't like it, um, you know. And uh, please, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And if there's something you want to see, let me know. In any case, you guys take care. Have a good holiday weekend, and see you next time.